Hello, I'm Tim Smith with the Adams County Historical Society, and we're standing in the Evergreen Cemetery at the grave of John Lawrence Burns. If you like the historical content on our videos, please hit the subscribe button to see more of our content. John Burns was born 1793, 1794. I think it's 1793, but it, cho chose to it chooses to say 1794 here on the stone. Um, he died in 1872. Originally, he and his wife had separate, smaller stones. But apparently there was an issue with John Burns' stone being vandalized. From reading about him, and of course you may know I'm his auto or his, his biographer, uh, he had he rubbed people the wrong way and he had a lot of local enemies. So I'm not surprised that someone might have uh, uh, damaged his grave. But in 1904, the Gettysburg chapter of the GAR, the post number nine, uh, Johnston H. Skelly uh, post, actually put up this new stone to honor John and his wife, Barbara, in our cemetery. I think it was 1917 that an American flag was placed over Burns grave. And today that flag flies over the grave 24 hours a day. But uh, uh, Burns, um, you know, is famous for fighting in the first day of the Battle of Gettysburg. Uh, he was, uh, you know, the only civilian to run out from the town and join in the fighting west of the town. He was wounded in the battle. He survived the battle. Uh, afterwards, a reporter from the New York Times went to his house. Uh, Matthew Brady recorded a photograph of him. When Abraham Lincoln arrived to give the famous Gettysburg Address, he insisted upon meeting John Burns, and he attended a political rally together at the Gettysburg Presbyterian Church. Uh, after his death, um, uh, you know, N.C. Wyatt did an illustration of him. In 1864, Francis Bret Hart wrote a poem about him. And uh, with the exception of Jenny Wade, he is probably the most famous of all the Gettysburg civilians that lived here during the battle. 